Samsung's unpacked event has just finished, showing off the Galaxy Watch 4, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic, and several other devices in full. Lots to be excited for, and lots of new information on what we can expect from the Galaxy Watch 4, Samsung's latest smartwatch. So sit back and relax while I give you all the juicy details. Stay tuned. What's up guys, welcome back to Tech It Easy. Very exciting day today. Of course, the Galaxy Watch 4 has just been revealed in full alongside the Galaxy Fold 3, which I've also been pretty excited for. So let's go over the main points to take away from Samsung's unpacked event and sort of try and work out whether the Galaxy Watch 4 is gonna be a success or a failure amongst smartwatch users. Before we do jump into that though, if you could quickly leave a cheeky like, subscribe to the channel and check out the Discord server, that would be awesome. Links down below. So the first thing that I want to bring up is of course Wear OS 3.0. This was something that I and a lot of others were really quite worried about from the move to Tizen. But after getting a good look at it at Samsung's Unpacked event, I was actually feeling a lot, lot better. Samsung showed off a few different apps such as Spotify and Google Maps. What they're really focusing on here is seamless integration into the smartwatch as well as on your phone. Now, as well as Wear OS 3.0, it will be running One UI over the top. So you should see some similarities between your smartwatch and your smartphone if you're a Samsung user. Moving on to the design, it was pretty much as expected. You have a couple of different variants, which we already knew about, as well as a couple of different color options. They did also show off some of the watch faces, which had already been leaked around a week ago, but it gives you a good idea of what kind of style we can expect Samsung to go for with the Galaxy Watch 4. Now, in my previous leak, videos we talked about the two buttons on the side being the same as the first generation Galaxy Watch, but it does appear that we can actually cut Samsung some slack here. The two buttons on the side actually play a crucial role in their new BIA feature. And that's what we're going to talk about next. Now, one of the most important points is the Galaxy Watch 4 specs. Samsung spoke extensively about the new body composition analysis feature, as well as the extended battery life. Just moving back onto the battery life though, I do want to say that 40 hours has probably disappointed a lot of people here. A lot of us were expecting more around the four to five days mark, but seeing all the new features that Samsung are bringing to the watch, I can sort of understand, especially with the body composition analysis feature. That is definitely something that's gonna need a bit of power here. You never know, you may actually get the Galaxy Watch 4 to stretch to that two day mark. How these claims hold up in a real world test, I'm not too sure, but we will of course find that out in a couple of weeks when I manage to get my hands on one for testing. So do make sure you subscribed and got your notifications turned on so you don't miss my Galaxy Watch 4 review and unboxing. So that's it for today's quick Galaxy Watch 4 Samsung Unpacked event roundup. I think this will probably be one of the last videos I do between now and the release of the Galaxy Watch 4, but I will keep my eye out for any more crucial information. Just before we go, if you did find yourself enjoying the video, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel and check out the Discord server. There will be a link down below. For now though, thank you so much for watching. I've been Alex and remember, take it easy.